Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. It's the new year and at least for me, it has started busy. I have so much to do. Next week, I have the f first artist alley of the year. I have lots of things to prep, so I was thinking, why not share with you all my prepping while talking about all the fun things I have done during these past few weeks during the time off from my work. So during my time off, I decided to go to see a couple of art shows. My mom came to see me and we went together to Ham. Yeah, yes, it's called Ham. Helsinki Art Museum. Still makes me giggle every time. <laughs> but it's always fun discovering new artists. Uh, not all of the works were to my taste, but they do give food for thought. The upstairs exhibit was interesting. Especially the video installations. I love the dancing ones. <laughs> they seem to have a lot of fun, <laughs> at least making it. But my favorite was absolutely this white fabric one that you walked through. It was so comforting, I would say. It felt really nice. Some of the works also have like very interesting techniques used, like this one that was made entirely out of buttons. I thought that was fascinating. And there was also this huge carpet that just invited you to touch it, but sadly you weren't allowed. <laughs> After that, we headed to another art show. <laughs> yes, I, I went through so many <laughs> during my vacation. But this one was the Aksari Kalengalela, which is very famous Finnish artist and goddamn genius. I loved it so much, but sadly I don't have too much footage out of it because it was pretty crowded, as you can believe. <laughs> The artwork is just breathtaking. I thrive that someday I have the same kind of understanding of value and color and composition as he has had. So now we are almost finally done with the inventory. So let's take a small break and do something else. I've had this painting poster on my wall for the past six months and it has been offset by five cents and it has been driving me nuts so i decided finally <laughs> i'm gonna fix this <laughs> uh, i actually also mm, like bought a couple of other prints so at the same time i was thinking yeah what the heck let's fix that and also prep the other prints for their frames Nori was very interested on the work and kept me company the whole time. One of the best things <laughs> when having time off from work is to have these really slow mornings with very good breakfast. And I decided that we're gonna make pancakes, which is my favorite thing. And don't get, get it twisted. It's not like American pancake, nor is it like French crepe. It's something in between. It's a Finnish lettu. If you don't know what it is, you're missing out. Try it. And the right way to eat these is with only sugar. That is the only classic way to do it. 
I could have these forever. <laughs> these are my ultimate favorite thing and have been since my childhood. It will never change. But today I need to wrap it up because I have a place to go to. So no slow morning for me. It's getting ready. Here's my outfit. <laughs> and here's Nori, <laughs> keeping guard, ready to go. He always knows when I'm dressing up that something exciting is happening. So he gets ex very excited about it. But today, if you might guess, we're going to another art show. <laughs> and this is my favorite of all of the ones that we went through during the, the time off. I, all of the installations were so cool. They are all made uh, of, uh, they're like plastic that has been covered with cement. It's so surreal and like fantasy land and the proportions of things were out of control. It was magical. I loved it every second of it and I highly highly recommend if you are somewhere in the Nordics go and check it out. Go now. It's so good. We stopped by at the uh, booth where they were selling all things related to the uh, art show. I usually buy myself a print, a poster, but this time I, I wasn't feeling it. I was mainly window shopping all of these beautiful things that they had and I fell in love with these fabrics and these bags that were next to the window. They were so pretty. And oof, there goes my social battery. So for the rest of the night, it's just me prepping again because I have a deadline to catch up to and watching me and puppy cat. If you don't know the series, check it out from Netflix. It's a classic, I love it. It's my go-to comfy cartoon that I left to watch. Whenever I'm feeling a little bit low, or I need to wind up, wind down. It's my go-to. Today I'm making these uh, keychains and earrings that I have designed, and it's a lot of tinkering, a lot of small parts, but it's very relaxing to do something with your hands. So this is exactly what I needed. And then disaster strikes. I ran out of ink, which is bad, but luckily a local print shop had the inks that I needed. Whew. Mission accomplished. We have avoided disaster. <laughs> but now it's potato mode. I'm just gonna prep and take it easy and you can just enjoy watching me do that.
So the day came, I woke up early, we had an hour drive to the venue, and here we are, first by Disacon 2023. I was able to set up my table in time, which I'm very happy about because I was a little bit scared because I was working on my own, I didn't have any help this time, usually I have always someone next to me. But this time, I wasn't able to get a ticket for them. So, it was just pulling it through on my own today. <laughs> and it was so much fun. I loved seeing all of the cosplays. I did pretty well with the sales. I was really happy about that. But goddamn. <laughs> it was a mistake to drink all that coffee. <laughs> I didn't have too many breaks. And that was it. didn't go as planned. <coughs> as you can hear, I am sick. And I sound like an old lady. Well, this happens quite often <laughs> when I go to conventions. I'm, I easily get sick. So when I'm around people, lots of people, usually after a couple of days when my stress levels go down, <laughs> I get sick. And this happened again. <coughs> <coughs> my lungs are killing me it's my weak point so lots of tea and planning with my iPad because there's nothing much I can do but yeah nice <coughs> Ooh. Ah, I'm trying not to die <laughs> It's hard. It's very hard. <sighs> so I didn't bring much that like I didn't get much footage of uh, from the convention because I was so busy there. And actually <laughs> uh, I didn't even have time to actually go through the artist alley because I didn't have help this time. Usually I have someone next to me. 
to help me so I can have some breaks and I can go through the artist alleys and grab some goodies for myself. This time I didn't have time so I rushed through at the last second when we were closing and tried to get <laughs> what I could. So I got these two lovely, if you can see, these stickers. They're so cute. Um, I'm gonna check the artist. I'm gonna put them in the screen. But these and then I got a keychain. I'm gonna show it to you guys uh, here on the next clip. But yeah. And a couple of prints that I gave over to my friend so I can show you. God, I'm a bad, <laughs> bad <at> filming. <laughs> but yeah. So. <clears throat> That's about it. With this, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Because... Unless you want to see me binge watch some anime for the next couple of days. I don't think there's going to be too much interesting things to show you. But thank you guys for watching. <sighs> Fingers crossed in the next couple of days this will be over. <laughs> we will see. Thanks. Bye.